I would have loved to be a young entrepreneur today. Because as I said, this is a major shift with new technology, similar to what few shifts in the past have been. Here it's important that the governments are early out to see the power of AI and that they can use this AI for good. ปัจจุบันเราอยู่ในยุคที่เทคโนโลยีนั้นก้าวกระโดดมากๆนะครับ AI แล้วก็ Data เป็นขุนทรัพย์ใหม่ที่เปลี่ยนเกมเศรษฐกิจแล้วก็สังคมและสำหรับธุรกิจที่ใส่ใจเรื่องความยั่งยืนเป้าหมายไม่ใช่แค่การหาประโยชน์จาก AI เพื่อธุรกิจแต่คือการวางแผนให้มันขับเคลื่อนประโยชน์สู่คนส่วนรวมครับ GCNT Executive Series SDG Achiever ซีรีส์พิเศษระหว่าง The Secret Sauce และ Global Compact Network Thailand เราจะพาคุณไปสำรวจวิสัยทัศน์ของคุณซิกเว่เบรกเก้ครับประธานคณะผู้บริหารกลุ่มบริษัท True Corporation จำกัดมหาชนผู้ที่มองว่า AI ไม่ใช่แค่เครื่องมือแห่งอนาคตแต่คือโอกาสครั้งสำคัญของมนุษยชาติ AI จะสร้างผลกระทบเชิงบวกอะไรต่อระบบไม่ว่าจะเป็นสุขภาพการศึกษาและสิ่งแวดล้อมเราควรปกป้องข้อมูลอย่างไรให้ปลอดภัยและอยู่ในกรอบของจริยธรรมไปฟังกันครับ I would say that AI and data revolution that we see should be compared with what happened when we got internet some decades ago. I think it will change everything when it comes to production of product and services in the public sector and also in the private sector. So it's an enormous opportunity for new business models, new startups, companies that want to disrupt their, their establishment. And if you think about it, think about the biggest companies in the world today. That's the Facebook, the Apples, the Nvidia, those guys. They didn't even exist before internet came. And I think AI will have a similar effect going forward. So this is a very exciting time. But I think AI is, has the potential to help us actually do things in a different way. Help medical services, for example, to have a better analysis of your sickness. Take an example. Of course, people need to then also take AI in use. People need to upgrade themselves when it comes to knowledge because there will be new growth areas and there will be new things coming. As we have seen over the last hundred years, it's just that it's going to happen much, much faster. The other part of this is that the biggest threat with AI, it's our ability to keep the data safe. Discrimination when we use data. That data is being used in a good governance framework. So we just need to follow up the risk with proper governance around it, proper rules around it, proper regulations around it. I think data can help when it comes a lot of the public sector services that we have today. I think it has an enormous potential in the health industry to better both to advance the medical sector. Into finding new type of medicine, I think to reduce pollution, to get into a zero carbon, other type of public services, educational, for example, educational service. All countries are struggling a little bit with how should we change our educational system because the kids now have access to laptops, computers, or to AI. But I think we can benefit out of that because now a kid in Isam can have the same access to information as someone living in New York. I would have loved to be a young entrepreneur today, <laughs> because as I said, this is a major shift with new technology, similar to what few shifts in the past has been. And we see how these major technology shifts are creating completely new business model. If I was a young entrepreneur today, I would have been looking at what is it that I am not properly served with. What are the the pain points that I have today? Pain points I have today when I'm buying a product. Pain points I have today when using public services. I will then look for those pain points and how can those pain points be taken away with a new service or a new product, with uh, and using data. So an entrepreneur today doesn't have to invest in billions of billions of baht or dollars. Uh, he can, he or she can use AI and a cloud-based model actually to develop new services. To a relatively cheap model, and then you can scale it. So I will, look, I will have been looking for those pain points that the current business models or the current services are not fulfilling, and then I will have come with a solution to do something with that. That's where I think there is a power, and then built that entrepreneurial spirit or the company with 
AI with consuming data, putting it in the cloud, and then scaling it. I think Thailand has a lot of opportunities here because you are in the middle of the Southeast Asian countries. You have a population which, are, which is very, very digital. I see a lot of, of skills in Thailand. I see also entrepreneurial spirit. What I'm lacking is someone that dare to take the first step to try things out. But Thailand should not be behind some of the other South, Southeast Asian markets in this respect. There's a big opportunity for Thailand actually to fuel the economy.